بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد ما الله سبحانه وتعالى bless us with our nafir us can tell you why I'm in the mutakabbin and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our sins and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas with the bad ala sunnah to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam what is the ruling regarding smoking cigarettes or smoking in general during the holy month of Ramadan while you're fasting with regards to cigarettes and smoking in general, it's haram aslan in any way. In Islam, it's haram for various reasons because it causes harm to your health. Uh, it's very dangerous for your health. It's a type of suicide. Also, it's a waste of your wealth. It's a waste of your time, etc. So those are some of the reasons. And a waste of your wealth, uh, as we mentioned, your wealth. So all of those things are the various reasons why cigarettes are haram and smoking regardless of whether it's shesha or what all the various things that people smoke it is haram muharram but what about specifically regarding our fast does it break our fast so first we have to know is smoking breaks your fast and this is in accordance with the uh, consensus of the scholars of fiqh, of jurisprudence. And the reason being is that smoking is a type of uh, body, if you will, that enters inside of you when you're smoking. When you're smoking, you're taking that, you're inhaling uh, the substance into your body, into your mouth, into your throat, and so forth, into your lungs. And so it is a body that enters, a substance that enters into your body, and it breaks your fast similar to the way water breaks your fast. And this is due to the fact, especially in the Arabic language, they refer to it, they say, shrub a dukhan. Dukhan is smoke. S uh, smoke or ref in reference to cigarette. Sharba dukhan. Sharb shariba yashrabu. Sharab shariba is the verb in, in the, the past, in the simple past form, which refers to the past tense of, uh, of to smoke or to drink. And so when they say Sharab Dukhan, what's implied in that in, in the Arabic language is by Sharab or Shariba, it refers to drinking. So here the fact that they consider it it's not that you're drinking cigarettes, but it is considered this is how they explain or describe smoking in Arabic, that it's a type of Sharb, sh sharab, or sharbal, uh, sharbal dukhan, that they smoke cigarettes. And due to the fact that the name itself, in accordance with the Arabic language, and according to the urf, or the custom of the Arabs, it is considered not necessarily, not necessarily a type of drink, but it has the same meaning as if you were drinking, so therefore it takes the same hukum, it takes the same ruling, and one fiqh principle, perhaps that uh, is applicable here, is uh, from amongst the qawaid fiqhiyah, is al-ada muhakkam, that the, the custom, if we don't find something in the sharia, that is clear about a ruling, then you can refer back to the custom or perhaps the, uh, the the habits of a people or the language or the Arabic language. So all of those things, they have a, a place in Sharia rulings. And here, due to the fact that According to the custom of the Arab, they refer to smoking as sharab, as we mentioned. 
So sharba dukhan. So from that perspective as well, it's considered, it takes the ruling of drinking. As if you were to drink water or something, it breaks your fast similar to that. Also that it, it enters inside similar to eating and drinking. So it is considered one of those things which breaks a person's fast. And this is in an accordance this is in accordance with the statements of the scholars. And you'll find more details regarding this issue as far as the view of the Fuqaha in many of the Fatawa books of the ulama of this time. Also in some of the more classical text such as the Hashia Radd al-Muhtar li Ibn Abidin or Shar al-Kabir li Dardir or the Hawashi al-Sharawani wa Ibadi ala Tuhfat al-Muhtaj so these are all big fiqh books or Kishaf al-Qana' lil Bahwati and these are from various madhabs and you'll find that the scholars are in agreement with the fact that cigarettes break your fast and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam